Hello, I'm Mr. Bbates1 and welcome back to another how-to video. Now, it's been a minute since my last video and I just wanted to say thank you very much for the people that have stuck around and to the new folks who are still subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. I'm nearly at the 100k mm. mark. Hopefully, we will get it this year. Now, as it's been a little while since I've made a video, I thought I'd come back with something a bit more lighthearted to start off with, which, as the title suggests, we are going to look at how to enable RTX mode on a non-RTX graphics card for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. As you can see right now, I'm using a preview version of Minecraft Bedrock for this video. This is just so you can see the details at the top of the screen, showing what I'm actually using, the performance and stuff like that. But this process will work for the normal version of the game as well. Now looking to the top right, you can actually see my current graphics card, which is an AMD Radon Pro looking at the specs for this card it's not a bad graphics card it's actually pretty good but it is definitely not a high-end one nor is it a nvidia rtx card so this just means i can't enjoy rtx for myself but we don't have to worry about that no more we can enjoy rtx using this method so let's not waste any more time we're going to do this in two parts first i'm going to show you what we need to do and then we're going to take a look at it afterwards so first of all let's exit minecraft and hop to the desktop to start the process off The first thing we're going to need to do is navigate to this GitHub page. And I've put a link for it in the description below, uh, just so it's easy for you guys to get to. But this is basically a, a, an application called RTX2 Deferred. For now, we're just going to download this file here and extract it to the desktop. It's the zip file there called 1.1.1.zip. This may change. Obviously, always grab the latest version. I'm not going to high detail on what this does, but basically this will launch Minecraft into RTX mode for us. The second thing we're going to need to do is visit the YSS Discord channel. This is the Years Static Shader Group. So these guys have basically been making shaders for the Render Dragon engine. Now they do have a version of shaders out which isn't RTX, which you can apply to your Bedrock Edition as well. So if you don't want to use RTX mode, simply uh, download the normal version and you can enjoy just normal shaders. But for the RTX version, you need to go to the Special Edition channel, which is just under the Download Here section. You want to scroll down to the bottom and download whatever the latest version is. They are making updates quite regularly for it. It's still in beta stage, so obviously there's more improvements to come. But as it is at the moment, it's absolutely fantastic. So what we want to do is just download this zip file, save it to your desktop, and extract the files from it. Next, before we proceed then, we want to check what DirectX version we are on. Now, the reason for this is, is that this modification to the Render Dragon engine requires DirectX 12 to operate. If you don't have this installed, then none of this is going to work for you. Now, in order to do that, you can simply go to your run box down the bottom here and you can pop in this here, which is DXDIAG. And it'll bring up this little icon here. And all you need to do is simply run that and it's going to bring up a little pop up. And what we're looking for is essentially the DirectX version at the bottom here. As long as it says DirectX 12, then we are good to go. If it doesn't, then go to your Windows update and have a look for an update to DirectX. So now we have all the files that we need. It's time to shift them to the right location now i've actually got a shortcut on my desktop here for the preview version this is basically where the application is this is actually in on the c drive program files windows app and for minecraft beta is for the preview version it's just minecraft windows beta but for the normal minecraft version it would be this here which is minecraft uwp since we're going to be doing this in the beta version or the preview version we are going to use that there and we want to go to data render and then materials and what we want to do here is is that the files that we downloaded earlier from the yss special beta 6 you want to just open this up and we're looking for 19.60 version as you can see we have some files in here and all we need to do is simply copy these across replacing any files as it says now if you find that this won't allow you then you simply use a third party application which I use one here called IO Bit Unlocker. This is because Microsoft adds a, a bunch of security around this section so they don't particularly like you modifying these files. Now before we do use this application though you do need to find these individual files in here and remove them. Now using the IO Unlocker we simply drag the files across and then we can unlock and copy and just basically go to the same folder location as we did before. Once we are here you simply click OK. And as you can see, it says unlock and copy successful. So these files have now been added in here. And if we refresh this, we should be able to now find that the files that we recently deleted have now been re-added again. Now that is everything that you need to enable RTX mode 
now it's time to simply just launch it. But before we do that though, you probably might want to download an RTX pack so that you can actually see it in action. Now the Discord itself does recommend one. If you scroll to the top of here, you can actually see that they recommend this one here, which is the Defined BPR pack, and they actually give you a link for that as well. So I'm not going to bother putting that in the description, you can pull that directly from there. So once it's downloaded, you just want to leave it there for a moment because we're not going to launch it just yet. First of all, we're going to want to launch our Minecraft. Now we just want to go back to the files we extracted earlier on the desktop for the RTX2 deferred folder. We want to open this up, and as you can see, it opens up like this. Now there's two files in here. One is just launch Minecraft. The other is launch Minecraft Preview. Now because we want to launch Minecraft Preview and not normal one, we're going to use this. But obviously if you're using the other one, you simply launch Minecraft. So I want to run this as administrator. And now Minecraft will load. Now you should know if this is booted up successfully in RTX mode, because at the very top, you will see that it now says RTX. Now as you can see, RTX mode means that we are in the RTX version of the game. So before we go any further, you probably might want to launch your shader packs, which we'll is back out that for a sec. And you'd simply just right click on your file and launch it into the game like that now. So that installs, I've already actually installed it on here. So as you can see in global resources, we can already see it here. Now you can activate it as a global if you want, but I prefer to do it uh, on, a, on a per world basis rather than through the global. First thing we need to do then is add our pack to the world. So we go down to our resource pack, we find it here and we click activate. Now all we need to do is play. Now already we can see a major difference here. There are some things to be worked out, as you can see the clouds up above do look a bit weird still. Not perfect, but here we are in our now RTX version. Now look at the shadows on this, in fact, that's just water, look at the water on this. Now if you're not familiar with this world, this is actually the first multiplayer world I ever played in. And this was a uh, sauerkraut and this was my island here and this is basically what it looks like in rtx mode look at that sun it's beautiful actual water reflections there you can see the trees in the water i absolutely love that as you can see look at that water and the reflections it's absolutely amazing and obviously the high definition on the items now this pack itself is just enhancing the existing box obviously it doesn't change it like some of the other rtx packs does so it depends on what packs you're using, it will depend on how it looks and how it comes out. Do we go upstairs for a moment, we can have a look at what it looks like across the map. As you can see here, it's morning time, and look at that hue that comes through the windows there, how beautiful is that? tracing effect into play there looking absolutely fantastic and there we have it that's rtx mode on non-rtx devices now what i'm going to do is, is i'm just going to play a little bit of a, a clip at the end of this video just to sort of show you some of the views uh in rtx mode but you can end the video here if you don't want to watch that so i'll say my buys now and then i'll leave you with the outro thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you all guys next time bye